Good morning. Well, here in Alaska, and I am going to talk to you today about some poison berries that you want to um, definitely not pick while you're out foraging in Alaska. This is in the South Central area of Alaska, and today we're talking about bane berries. So here are bane berries. You can see that they are a cluster of red berries. These ones are a little darker red. Here's some that are a little bit more brilliant red right here. And they are growing right next to some high bush cranberries. And these guys right here are high bush cranberries. And you can see here that the high bush cranberries are not ripe yet. They're still forming. They're going to get a nice deep red, um, almost as red as the bane berries that they're growing right next to. Um, and the reason that I'm making this video today is that I've seen it on a couple different forums that um, people are mistaking the um, bane berry for high bush cranberry. And that can be really deadly consequences because bane berries will make you extremely sick. So let's look at some of the differences here. So the bane berry, if you look carefully, you can see that these these berries are grouped in a very tight bunch, okay? And if you look at the leaf pattern on them, it is very distinctive, okay? So it's, this is the leaf pattern. You've got multiple different leaves coming off of one main branch like that. And in contrast, when we look at the highbush cranberry growing right next to it, you can see here that we have one main stalk coming up that has kind of almost maple leaf pattern leaves on here. And this guy actually has got some rust on there. So that's not the typical healthy leaf pattern. Right here's a little bit regular leaf right here. Okay, so almost looks kind of like a maple leaf. There we go. Okay, and um, the nice thing about highbush cranberries, as you can tell for sure, for sure, is when you open them up, inside you're gonna have a very flat seed. Let's see if we can get the seed out here. Can't do this one-handed, but inside of here we have a very, very flat seed. Um, so that's one way to dif differentiate if you really were getting confused. But taking a close look, here we have baneberry with their very different leaf pattern right next to our high bush cranberries here. So when you're out foraging, just make sure you take a good um, plant guide with you, a field plant guide to really take a look. Um, there are also some really great helpful apps that you can get on your phone online if you're within cell phone service of when you're foraging. Um, one that I like using is PlantNet and you can compare to Western Canada on that app. So. Happy foraging, stay safe.